kids. Um, I just wanted to do a little something for you that you could look for for this week, and because I just miss you. I miss you all so much, and I'm hoping you're staying well and being safe and staying home. Um, today's um, little story is going to be on God's plan for Joseph. Joseph was his father's favorite son. That made his 11 brothers, yup, 11, so angry they sold Joseph as a slave, which was part of God's plan for Joseph. Joseph was sold to an important Egyptian man whose wife lied about Joseph. So Joseph went to jail, and that was part of God's plan, too. Because God told Joseph what dreams meant, Joseph was led out of jail to work for Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. He interpreted an important dream for the king. Soon he was Pharaoh's go-to guy for running the country. Yup, all, all part of God's plan. Back in the country where Joseph's brothers lived, the crops quit growing, People were hungry, so Joseph's brothers came to buy grain from Egypt. They didn't know the important man they met was really that skinny little brother they'd sold into slavery. And for a while, Joseph didn't tell them. Joseph finally told his brothers who he was and that he forgave them. Getting Joseph to Egypt was God's plan all along, part of a big picture even through the ups and downs. Now Joseph could save his family. This is found in Genesis 37 through 50. So meanwhile, in your world, Joseph's journey zigzagged all over the place. Favorite son to slave to jailbird to Egyptian big cheese. Jot down some of your ups and downs that you've been having on your journey lately. Joseph thanked God for the tough times because he knew they were all part of God's plan. Try doing the same. Ask God, what can I learn from these tough times that will help me better serve you and others? So, now it's family exercise time. Stun your family by suggesting that everyone click off their screens and join you for five minutes of jumping jacks, squats, and other up and down exercises. If someone can't participate for some reason, make that person a cheerleader. And by thanking everyone for joining you, not just for the past five minutes, but through all of life's ups and downs. Remember to listen to one another when tough times come. Listen. Really listening helps. I really miss you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.